Okay, folks, what I want to talk about today is a surge protected device. This particular device is rated for 200 amps. It goes into a Square D QO panel box. These are QO breakers. And you look at the surge protected device. This is a QO breaker made by Square D. This particular device will protect anything that's grounded correctly. So it has to be a grounded system. And it will cover anything up to like 22,500 kVA of surge. One thing that it will not cover, let's say you have direct TV or you have some kind of electronic devices from your cable TV company. If you have a surge on your low voltage side, it will not protect it. Also, there's no guarantee that it will absolutely protect all of your appliances with all the circuit boards. So I don't want to mislead you and tell you it's going to protect everything because the manufacturer instruction actually says that. But it will protect them most of the time, one time around. And we're going to talk about actually installing this. Okay? This is nothing. To, this wire here goes on the neutral bar. This will only work correctly if you have a properly grounded system. In most states, the National Electric Code requires two ground rods, uh, 25 ohm resistance. So I'm going to put it up. I'm going to take the cover off. First thing you want to do when you actually do this, I'm going to take the cover off. And now you want to always have this done by a qualified licensed electrician. Okay? And I am a licensed electrician in two states. Okay? Now, with these... QO panels, most of the time your upper bus bars are only designed for your double pole breakers. So I'm going to have to take this breaker and I'm going to move it down to here. I've got the breaker turned off already, so I'm going to take it. Okay. Now I'm going to take my surge suppressor, I'm going to coil out my wire, and this is a neutral bar. Okay, now it doesn't necessarily say where I need to put the neutral on first or last, so I'm just going to take my, my surge protector, I'm going to put it on the bar, I'm going to snap it in. I'm actually going to just strip off a little bit more of the wire here on the end. I don't really cut the wires off because they have so many ohms of resistance on the length. So I don't really want to shorten it, so I just leave it on there, whatever it is. I always like to strip it back and make sure I get a good bite on this copper. You really want to make sure it's snap. Okay, then we're just going to take this wire. I'm just going to coil it back a little bit. Okay, now when you know it's working correctly, you're going to have a green LED light. Okay, so I want you to look at that really, really close right there. Okay, now. If the thing's not working, the LED light goes off, and say your power's on, that means the search protected device has taken a hit. Okay? So the best thing to do is really shut down your main breaker and get a mega and go and hook your mega up to each circuit, see if you can find where the ground or the, the loss is. Really, other than that, that's really all there are to these things. Use a licensed electrician. Be very careful putting them in. I recommend them in most areas, especially the states with a lot of lightning. They're very inexpensive, less than 100 bucks. Put them with all your jobs. If you have any questions, just give us a call at Jones Air Conditioning.
239-596-5855. Go to joesairconditioning.com. If you like this, please share, please subscribe, and please comment. Thank you.